Welcome back. And now it's time for our press review. And today we have our dear guest, uh, Dr. Wala Waspi, Professor of Political Marketing. Good morning. Happy feast to you. Good morning. Uh, How do you feel about being with us today during yes, the feast? It's a unique day. I love to be with us. <laughs> Even uh, on those uh, occasions, I really I love to be at Mile TV. I can't, uh, I can't give any excuse for not being here. Happy feast to Happy you. Happy feast to you. As usual, we're going to take a look at the main headlines of our Egyptian dailies. And let me start here with a Shiru newspaper. President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Thursday congratulated Egyptians on Eid al-Fitr occasion in a statement on his account on Twitter. El Sisi said that Egyptians received Eid al-Fitr this year after losing several martyrs in terrorist attacks. He wrote also that the feast comes days ahead of the new Suez Canal inauguration. You know, this year the, the feast is a little bit special. I don't know, maybe people, you know, the Egyptians suffered a lot during the past period. And I can feel in the eyes of each and every Egyptian, young and old, that he wants to, he's looking for peace of mind. He wants to change. He, he wants to take a break. Yes, for sure. Do you feel this? They, they seek for happiness, you know, and for... Uh, Pose uh, from all political events that are happening uh, every now and day, and uh, seek to be happy. We are searching for anything uh, to to help us to be happy, and I think there is no uh, more uh, occasion like uh, like today, Eid al-Fitr, uh, happy feast to all Egyptians. Uh, and I like uh, something that uh, the president Abdel Fattah Sisi is using social media, as Twitter is giving messages uh, message uh, to Egyptians through social media. Uh, this is a good step of political marketing, of communicating uh, with all uh, citizens. They, uh, he can reach any and everyone uh, inside Egypt and outside, regardless all uh, television channels or radio, uh, radio channels. So this is a good thing that I like to, to, to increase using social media because all Egyptians nowadays focus on social media, criticize anything that's happened on social media. So to, uh, to let the government ministers and the president use the social media to talk or to discuss with citizens is a good uh, thing. And even the, the people themselves, they will feel that they can express themselves that uh, whatever they feel is going to be uh, referred to or the government will read it or the president will understand to be involved in all of our daily uh, problems actually. Yes, especially people who will criticize or who will have uh, negative opinions or uh, opposite opinions uh, to what is written. Um, this will show us how the government will uh, do or uh, how the government will deal with those uh, kind of uh, citizens even if we still have a group uh, of uh, Egyptians that are supporting Muslim Brotherhoods and we should believe and those will uh, comment uh, on each and every or any uh, they will criticize anyway yes and how we will deal with them right but the role of the political marketing now is that Egyptians are aware of yes. what is going on let me move on to Al Ahram daily Egypt completed dredging for the new shipping route in the Suez Canal, which will be inaugurated on the 6th of August, according to a report from the armed forces. This marks the dredging of a total of 250 million square meters and the digging of 70 million square meters in the expansion of the Bala Bypass. Uh, actually, um, talking about this huge project, this is something of great importance. It has always been a dream, the Suez Canal to Egyptians in the past, and now this is another dream that will come true. Yes, uh, in the upcoming days, the immigration, inshallah, of the Suez Canal will be held, and all of us, and especially people who uh, did not believe that that dream will be a real one, not only a dream, is happening right now, and we are talking about a number or a million of square meters that was digged and, and more, uh, more of it. So we are taking steps and really uh, day by day going to the inauguration of Suez Canal, we will face uh, a lot of things. And, we, uh, and I think that the government uh, is aware enough about what we will face, not only inside Egypt, but also from countries, other countries. Which means that we are, we are on the right track. Yes, we are.
Thanks, right. Father. But again, we say that Egyptians are challengers. Yes, Regardless of what is going on, they know how to continue and to enjoy their lives. Yes, we, we are brilliant in that yes. thing. Uh, moving on to Al Masri, Yom Qaris security chief Osama Bideh was sacked on Thursday following a series of terrorist attacks. The Interior Ministry said in a statement that Bideh was replaced by his deputy general Khaled Abdel Al, but did not elabor elaborate actually on the reason for the dismissal. Away from the reason, you know, it it shows that there is something going on that people now in the security forces, uh, the ministry, all of them, they are aware of all. They are taking control moving all around and uh, they, they know exactly what they are doing. Yes, and also uh, we as citizens, we, need, we would like to know what are the reasons for that, um, for that change. Uh, we must be aware uh, of it, not only the tourism uh, attacks or the attacks that happen everywhere, because it happens daily, but we deal uh, with it. Also, uh, from the good uh, thing to be known is why, especially yesterday, that that uh, new or that uh, action was taken. So right. it's important. But definitely things will, uh, will be clear within a couple of days. You know, in Egypt, you know everything. <laughs> yes, by time we'll know. Right, um, let me move on to Al Ahram online. Minister of Interior, Magdi Abdel Ghaffar, has ordered police women to increase their public presence during Eid al-Fitr celebrations to combat sexual harassment. Police General Abu Bakr Abdel Karim, the Minister's aide for Public Relations and Media, urged women to report sexual harassers to police. Till the end, and every piece we talk about this, and um, I, I just I will recall how the president himself uh, reacted to this and his uh, the the way he was dealing with it uh, during the past. It was the past yes, year. I will never forget yes, that event when he went to the hospital to visit uh, the lady who faced uh, that uh, sexual harassment um, accident, uh, and when he went to the hospital to tell her that what has happened, uh, his totally against what has happened and he um, by himself went there this is unforgettable as you said so uh, and also you said a very important thing the role of a police women which is uh, very important nowadays to give women the right even as um, at the role in the ministry of interior and especially in facing sexual harassment and this file is very important you know we talk about se uh, sexual harassment um, in feast or uh, on occasions but actually uh, all egyptian women face that daily so i hope that can ca that campaign lasts after um, and I believe definitely. things will change, just, just as you mentioned, because it already changed after the visit of the yes, president sure. last year, and I think they will continue with this. Right, so, um, moving on to Egypt Independent, the journalist syndicate remains unsatisfied with the government-approved anti-terrorism bill despite changes made to Article Number 33, which stipulated a minimum of two years in prison for journalists reporting information on the anti-terrorism operations that are at odds with official statements which remove jail terms related to journalists. Remember, we talked about this yes. before and how yes. dangerous it is. It is just like terrorism itself. Yes, it's much more, um, it, it harms much more than actual uh, real boom attacks because the world nowadays is like a weapon which is used like a shooting gun that when you shoot a word, I call it shooting words. I uh, like this, yes. Yes, it's really like that. And, and, and you don't, uh, and you shoot everywhere. So you don't know wh whom will be attacked by that word. But really, in fact, we have a great number you know of... who will be attacked? Egypt. We c yes, Egypt, Egypt in large. And I don't know why do you insist on this, because why are you going to report something false? Just to avoid all this. Are you, going to, are you intending to report something false? I, I, I don't understand, because this is something very, very important. Who is going to be the source? I, as a journalist or someone or a person who's working in media, I have to check my sources if I'm going to announce for something uh, who is being killed, the terrorism, uh, the security forces, the, the Egyptian armed forces, all of this. I can never report something without having sources, official sources. Fortunately, this is... Or why am I complaining about the international media? 
Yes, but the, you know uh, what you are, what are, uh, what are you saying right now? This is a market, and they make a market analysis about Egyptians, and they found that Egyptians are interested in those news. So everything, if yes, you, I remember when we talked about some of the uh, the newspapers on the social media, yes. just without uh, saying what is going on, you read the headlines, you feel oh, what happened? There is something, and when you open to read it, you will find something completely different from Why what is written. Right. Why? Why that way to attract people to to follow them and to 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 have an exclusive news to 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 know that that ch channel or that journalist um, it um, has got all the exclusive news even if it's fake and really it it is fake but I think that day by day as you said the awareness of Egyptian nowadays um, is really. Uh, raised up and they can know uh, which one is right and true and which uh, which one is fake uh, I would uh, I don't like to mention names but uh, there was a campaign uh, since a week ago to to boycott all those um, uh, newspapers or that ha that got uh, accounts on Facebook and Twitter that uh, spread that fake news and I think that um, uh, that those names of those newspapers is known well. All right. Um, moving on to Egypt independent transport ministry officials discussed the first steps toward running the electric train between the 10th of Ramadan city and Salam city with Chinese company the AFIC. The transport minister, Hany Dahi, said the meeting was held to discuss implementation of the electrified train between uh, these two uh, places, which was one of the projects agreed upon with Chinese investors during President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit to China in 2014. This is something very, very important, interesting, you yes. know, but I don't know, even if we're going to have it, I'm looking for the maintenance. Yes. And how are you going <laughs> that's what to I deal with it? Yes, that's what I would like to say right now, how Egyptians will use it and how they will deal with it and how they will keep everything as it because is. Because it is time now to understand the government is paying hell of money to bring you all means of transportation, but this is yours, this is your money, just like your house. So how to protect it, how to keep it clean? We have to increase the, uh, the awareness of changing the lifestyle, how to protect the, 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 the train, the airplane, whatever the thing that is owned by the government. You know, uh, Egyptians, when, uh, when they deal with uh, something that the owns by government, they, they took it as uh, f their own. They but this is their money, you know, and they have to keep it. And you know something talking about, whether we are talking about the electric train, talking about the bridges, about the new roads that yes. were opened, it all has to do with the national security of the country and boosting economy because connecting all these areas, you are opening the, the door for investments, for, uh, for many, many things. Actually, some people, they say that what do we have to do with this, for example, or uh, the, the army, why, do, why they are concentrating or talking about new roads and working on the construction. This is national security. Yes, for sure. But they are not aware by that point, which is... Where is political marketing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. That's why always I keen on uh, talking about the importance of political marketing. It's not about elections or yes. campaign. It's uh, after uh, when, uh, winning the elections to be a parliament uh, member or to be uh, the president, the political marketing starts. Right. At the end, uh, Dr. Wala Wasfi, Professor of Political Marketing, thank you very much for joining us. Happy Feast to you. Thank you Enjoy very much. Yes, all. Uh, thank you. Happy Feast to you too. And right now, let's move on to a quick break and we'll be back to resume The Breakfast Show.